o Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new video. My name is Ruffle Rowlett. It's early in the morning and I'm ready to record some content for you all. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. And today we're going to be taking a look at some rumors and it's time to debunk some of these boys. It's time to dissect these boys and give them a little bit of my peace of mind. So before we get started, guys, there's been a lot of rumors popping up recently. I'm looking over here like on my second monitor and I'm seeing so 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 much like it is actually a little bit ludicrous how much there is really out there it, it's actually surprising it's surprising to say the least um but you know what i i think that's fine though i think that's fine because there are also like also a lot of things here that are um, quite interesting if i may you know may say so myself um uh, quite a lot of interesting things that have showed up so i thought we'd go through these and talk about them and kind of you know um try to debunk some of these and talk a little bit about them in general and see what they're all about so the first one we'll start with here is one that you most likely will recognize it is this one this is an old rumor that i covered this is, okay i covered this like i think almost like God, it's been, it's been a few months now since I covered this. This was a long time ago that this showed up. But basically, this shows us a bunny that has, uh, basically, I mean, metal typing and uh, fire typing, I assume. Because, I'm mean, sorry, metal typing. I mean, steel typing. Um, I don't know, sorry, it's a metal. I guess it's just that's the way it kind of looks like to me, in, uh, you know, um, right here from this perspective. But um, either way, though, so it's got, like, a, a jetpack, so to say, uh, which he uses to fly. Um, and there's a lot of details here we can go through. But, you know, I mean, let's just break this down in simple terms. Top image shows you it's actually flying with a jetpack. So implying that it definitely has the fire typing because fire is coming out. Because, you know, I don't think a grass type would have fire for coming out of it. Um... You got its legs that are made out of like pure, you know, just kind of metal, so to say. Um, you can also see that the, the, its ears are apparently sensitive, so it can hear things, you know, a large dis distances. Um, and you can also see its arm there, which can shoot out fire, as well as its, its ears in this area right up here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Right up here, its ears can also shoot out fire. Um, down here, like around where my camera is, you can also see how its, um, I guess, uh, you know, um, hands, legs, etc., can work. And uh, yeah, overall, a really, really, really cool concept, though. And I mean, I like this concept. I think it looks cool, but I don't think it's real, though. Now, there's two reasons why I don't think it's real. And we've almost been able to find um, all the basic rundowns for it. There's, there's so many different, like, versions of this and how we can describe it to, you know, or break it down to being, you know, down to being fake. Um, I think one of the best people to, you know, help with this has been Pokey Stami. She actually went down and, you know, kind of just, you know, went through this thing fully to just break down every aspect of it. Uh, the original translation wasn't really the best uh, because she didn't have a good image to work with, as you guys may see right here. She was working with this image, so it was hard to translate it but she got the actual full you know full one and she was able to translate this slightly better and one thing she mentioned to me one thing that makes this rumor a little bit harder than the other ones is that the japanese in this one is actually like really good it's really really good uh that's the way she explained it to me when i was asking her about this like what well, you know the japanese you know how is it and all that and she basically told me like this japanese is it's well done um, but that doesn't mean this is real. There are other things that point towards this thing being fake, and we'll get to that. So let's start with the actual, uh, you know, part right here that's in front of us. Okay, so just finished the redo of Metal Bunny, three translations. Same disclaimer as the original, I did not make this, I just, trans uh, just translated it. I'm not saying it's real or fake, but the Japanese is solid. So believe whatever you want to believe, and we'll find out the truth in time. And you'll see right here, it actually, you know, she's got the actual translation. So the top one says basically, um, jumping stands. So I guess this is what that's meant to be. Tips of the ears are slightly pointed, uh, is what it says. Then down here on uh, this area, we've got uh, ear cross section. Up here we've got sole of the foot, uh, which is interesting because, you know, there was an emphasis on the sole of the foot of uh, Score Bunny as well. And this is what Score Bunny would be evolving to, uh, you know, if this ends up being real. Uh, palm of the hand, da, da, da. flame shooting from the ears, fair enough. And then down here where my camera currently is, I'll move it up. Uh, you've got some other things saying, for example, that reverse the side of ears, uh, this uh, tie elasticity pumping force. So that, I don't know what that means. And then down there it says pushed as well. And rabbit three, of course, is what you put there. Now, uh, you may assume now, because, okay, cool, the translation seems to check out, the Japanese seem to check out, well, maybe it's real, maybe that's what's going, you know, going to happen. This also seems to line up with the whole armored rumor Pokemon thing, you know what I mean? Or armored Pokemon rumor. It seems to match up, right? It seems to make a lot of sense. But ladies and gentlemen, let me show you this. So this was sent to me by Cowboy Ampharos. So big thank you to Cowboy Ampharos, because he spent a lot of time on this. Uh, but Cowboy Ampharos, uh, including, um, oh boy. 
uh, Camo Averos, including some other people, were managing to actually find a debunk for all this stuff that we've been kind of looking at right here. So I'll go through this and explain what he's talking about here. So if you're a little bit confused, don't worry, I'll explain it. So here what he says is the first picture in the question is from uh, Nanana, -na -na, which is archived on uh, 4chan which is this right here. This is the image he's referring to. A new fire starter of new uh, new game to be released 2019. Uh, it was this guy said, and this was posted, oh, this was posted back in June for the love of God. I remember talking about this, dude. I remember like like trying to debunk this a long time ago, uh, but I didn't have anybody help me with Japan the Japanese back then. Uh, but it's really like, I don't know, the image looks very much like really super compressed. Um, then he continues on saying that the source account found by uh, found by reverse image search found this, which is an Instagram account uh, for this guy. So this guy, I found this guy's account, okay, on um, while doing the uh, reverse uh, image search, found this account. Now this is uh, Flafla Kim Global, which is a um, I have a copyright for character design and whatnot. And this guy, I mean, I'm not gonna you know I'm gonna try to avoid showing his stuff here so he doesn't get angry because you know that sort of stuff. But apparently this guy is the one that made that this stuff. Um, account used to be a dog a dog ranger, but was changed into another account an OC through searching the person's contact information We found and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show you that like I'm not gonna actually show you uh, what that's all about but basically uh, what it essentially refer like showed to them was that if you actually burn the image like this you will notice that there is a I mean if you like increase the um like, I don't know, like, if you just burn the image, uh, you'll notice that it will show up down here, underscore dog underscore ranger, it will actually show up on the image itself, uh, that it has, like, a, you know, Facebook page or whatever that you can go to, so, I think this should be enough to kind of debunk this one, guys, so, a lot of people have been talking about this bunny, saying it's real, it's, or, you know, it is this, or that, uh, but I think the fact that, you know, um, I mean, clearly, somebody must have made it prior to, you know, it, like, this sort of thing, I mean, it's a little bit strange, uh, of course, there was also people saying that, um, there could be that this is real and that this was stolen or this was rather taken from you know game freak as they were make it, making it and then it was posted on the internet as if it was a fake or whatever uh, people have said that but i'm not sure if that's true or not so i don't know i don't want to get too deep on this i i'm not trying to offend anyone or you know just get you know you know get anybody in trouble here uh with you know talking about a simple rumor but it's been you know going through the internet so i think the least i can do is try to debunk it as being something real now am i fully debunking this yet I think we could pretty much fully debunk this. If this ends up being real, then, I mean, shit, I don't know, man. I mean, then it must have, like, leaked super early, and somebody must have claimed it as their own. So, I mean, I don't know, dude, like, somebody planted a flag there, but I think it's more likely to be just a fakey-dakey, guys. So, there's that one, lads, but we got more to go here. I mean, if you think we're done, uh, you, you got something else coming for you, so, um... Uh, that's all I'm gonna tell you. So this is what we got next, guys. So this looks really cool, probably, to most of you guys. You're probably looking at this, and you're like, hey, Ruffled. Ruffled, can you please tell me this is real so I, I can I can actually, you know, not feel like I want to die inside? Like, can you please tell me this is real? And I'm just going to tell you, unfortunately, it isn't. So, ladies and gentlemen, here we have a evolu oh, sorry, evolution evolution for Sobble. And Sobble is freaking adorable. And seeing, it, like, you know, something like this design right here is, like, what I want it to be. Like, this is what I want Sobble to evolve into. If Sobble evolves into this, I'm choosing Sobble. I mean, I love Score Bunny and I want Score Bunny, but... I'm almost like willing to go to for Sobble if it turns into this. But then again, remember though, we're gonna debunk this. Let's start with the face, of course, which looks like it's the face of like, I don't know. It looks kind of like it's supposed to be like Nessie, you know what I mean? Uh, the Loch Ness Monster. Or just one of those like, you know, um, you know, prehistoric or just, I mean, prehistoric. It's just like, you know, one of those underwater dinosaurs. Like the one you see in uh, freaking Jurassic Park and the, you know, not the latest, but the one before the latest, uh, where, you know, it just comes out of the water and eats the, uh, one of the, um, I don't know, the evil velocity, no, sorry, the evil, like, T-Rex looking ass thing. Not the T-Rex, but the other one, the, uh, really crazy one that can be camouflaged. Either way, that's besides the point. But, um, it looks kind of like that with the face. I love also this body shape and the way they kind of described how it would actually, like, work around the world, you know, fly on water and all that. Like, it looks really, really cool. Like, genuinely a cool design. But, and there's always a but. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a debunk. So, I hit up uh, Pokistami, or I'd rather she hit me up, uh, actually, with this one and told me, Hey, I'm probably going to see this, um, so here is something that you might want to know. And I'm like, okay, cool. I mean, you know, I hadn't seen this yet, and, you know, people just started sending it to me. And here's what she basically said to me, um, that this is making some rounds. Some people believe it's real, because it was re-uploaded without the signature again. But it's the same artist as before. But he seems to have be having a bit of a laugh this time, since uh, since that word right there in Japanese means pee slash piss. So yeah, guys, that should prove it. this is fake. I don't, like, I'll tell you right now. 
there is no way a Game Freak employee would type pee or piss uh, as the, you know, for the name of the face right here, or like the way to describe the face or what this, you know, is meant to be. There is no way a Game Freak employee would do that, and, you know, Pokestami just literally, you know, just translated for us. So that word right there next to the face literally means pee or piss. So I'm pretty sure this should give us enough of an indication that this is fakey dakey and you should not believe it. Fakey dakey in comments, please. Fakey dakey. Either way, I mean, you don't need to, to actually type that. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, next thing on our agenda. So I told you, today is a debunk day, lads. Today is a debunk day. We got so much of this shit to do, it's actually beyond me. So here comes the next one, guys, which is the one that I think most people will be really int intrigued by because most people will think this one's real. And this is what we're talking about right here, lads. So... This showed up, I don't know where it showed up from, my viewers sent this to me, I'm not sure, like, exactly how this came into, you know, people's hands. But this shows basically a Eevee with, uh, you know, arrows pointing down to three different evolutions, right? And some text next to it saying something in uh, Japanese. But you will notice also instantly here, and this is something that, um, I did notice, but I didn't know what it meant, that's why, you know, I have people help me with translations and all that. Uh, but you'll notice that this text up here doesn't match up with the bottom, uh, bottom text. I thought, first, this is just what my mindset went to, I thought this was, like, maybe Chinese and this was Japanese, that's what I thought, but apparently it's uh, slightly different from that, so here's the uh, bra basic breakdown from uh, Spooky Stami here of what that actually, you know, says right there. So that first part says, means news, then they also have the, uh, have news written in Japanese, I call fake. Uh, well, technically it means announcement, but still. So, I'm not sure even what language this is, is then, is it like Chinese or something? Uh, but this apparently says announcement, and then down here it says news in Japanese. Um, and also, I think, I, I mean, if you guys like do a little bit of like searching on the internet, I'm pretty sure, I haven't been able to find them yet, but I think you can find these three, um, you know, silhouettes, like as actual fake him on somewhere on the internet. I feel like you could. Uh, it's probably gonna just take a long time, because there's a lot of uh, fan-made, like, fake him on, um, you know, evolution so to say there's a lot of these so i would just recommend you know if you're going to search around for it be ready for a lot of fakey dakey ones so uh yeah that is just about it though um let's go to the final thing i think that i want to you know talk about here we'll just show you guys so let's see, I think it's uh, this right here as well. So I might as well bring this up as well, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, on the 3rd of the 3rd, which is basically tomorrow, um, uh, Omori and Masuda will be at the uh, Pokenshi TV show. Um, and they're going to be, you know, talking a bit about Pokemon Sword and Shield and some other small, you know, minor announcements and that sort of stuff. So yeah, um, that's going to be happening. Next thing here, so Stealth 40k, and this was sent to me by Haze, thank you so much Haze, uh, said that somehow, somehow many of the people I spoke to knew the, the titles Shield and Sword since last year. How nothing really got out is mind-boggling to me. Region is inspired by UK and there will be many new uh, Alolan slash regional variants. I mean, he calls them Alolan variants so that you understand what he's like referring to, uh, but he means like we're gonna just have like, you know, Galar region uh, forms, you know what I mean? That's what's, you know, gonna be happening. And he says, yeah, I literally found, only found out last night and I was shocked it was just so, uh, so known and commonplace that nobody was shocked about the direct. So, I mean, that's apparently from the people from the inside that he got that. So, I mean, that's really strange. Uh, it's truly strange, man, if I'm gonna be honest. But hey, we got that broken down. We've gone through the majority of the stuff, ladies and gentlemen. And that's going to be the end of this video. If you did enjoy, then drop a like down below, ladies and gentlemen. And hit that sub button if you want to see more. My name is Ruffle Rowlett. Today I did you all a little bit of a, you know, video where we took a look at some uh, debunkings. You know, I mean, some rumors, some stuff. And I thought, you know, let's slap these with the fakey dakey label, shall we? Either way, thank you so much for watching. My name is Ruffle Rowlett. Have yourselves a great day and bye-bye, ladies and gentlemen.